in this video I'll be showing you guys step two of the shading process which is adding more highlights in as you could tell um, her face is pretty well defined now because I've added the darkest areas and you can see where the shadows lay in her face but now it's time to brighten up the bright areas and a lot of times I use sparkly stuff but today there's already so much going on so I'm gonna use a combination of these two lighter colors and this is going to be done with a lot of dry brushing which means that I don't really use any water when I put my brush in the pigment and then I try to blend it in sorry that was not a great explanation I'll do a video on dry brushing later but I've decided I'm gonna use this color right here and I'm gonna go in very carefully start to add some of this and I'm gonna blend it in but not so so much so that it does pop out also sorry every time I've tried to film today there's been like so much background noise so sorry about the sirens and car alarms I live in a crazy place I guess so not adding a ton of pigment here and I just want to add the smallest of details with the highlights because they should be used as sparingly as possible because I already do have a lot of light areas going on here as you could tell and I'm just going to use a circular motion to brush this in and then we're going to add a bit more down here But you do want to make sure that it is blended out just like we did with the dark parts so i'm going to add some water later on just to make extra sure that we did blend it out but once again you want to tap your brush like this to make sure that there isn't a ton of water on it so that you don't make everything mess together See, this is too much water on it already so I'm gonna want to dust some of it off here and go in right there and then just want to make sure I blend this out Some more little areas around the eyes here Keep it over there and I think I'm done with highlighting for this color like I said this piece didn't really need a lot already but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white for like those super bright areas which are right here in the eyes um, there's actually too much pigment on here a little bit in the nose up here I'm gonna blend this out in a second I promise and then a little bit up here so now I'm going to get all the pigment off my brush. There we go. And then tap a bit of water out. So you got to be careful because a little water goes a really long way, as you could tell. But we should be good there. I'm going to add a tiny bit more of this white for the eyelid. And then you could tell that this is already dry and it kind of looks uneven so I'm gonna add a bit of water blend it out it's definitely a process of adding pigment seeing how well it's blended into the fabric adding a bit more water and repeat so it's definitely a process and you got to be patient but if you mess up like I said you can always blend things out put other colors on top of it so it's not the end of the world And while this looks kind of patchy right now, it definitely won't when I dry because I've taken a lot of care to blend out these areas. 
Okay, this just needs a little bit of help up here. Just a tiny bit more on the chin. And yeah, so would you look at that? We're done. And obviously this is gonna dry like normally, but you guys will see what it looks like when it's finished on my stories and on my feed when I eventually finish the piece. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you learned something.